I'm your host, Rick's Mace. This video is showing how to get a light for your cigarette or whatever you're smoking from the electricity in prison. Do not try this at home. There is a danger of electrocution and this video is for educational purposes only. We've got shower gel, a stereo lead, a small plastic tray, cotton buds, and some staples. The plug is unplugged. There is no electricity running through this right now. What I'm gonna do is put these two, these two of these staples into the each end of this. Let me just bend that back into place to make sure it's tight. There you go. That goes in there. The other one goes in there. Notice that it's bent so it can stay in and not be loose once it's inside there. I used staples for this because I can't find any paper clips. Paper clips are the best thing to use for doing this. This electricity is not on. As you can see, there's two metal bits now poking out of that stereo lead. What I'm going to do with this shower gel is put some in there. That do. In prison, you probably won't be using a milk top like this, a, pla a small plastic tray. You'll use your your plastic spoon because that's that's just like a small little bowl. A small a small plastic spoon will do for this, and that's what they use in prison. You see the cotton bud? What I'm going to do now is fluff out one end. So it's fluffy like this. So it could easily catch. Break that apart like that. What I'm going to do now is plug this plug in. There will be power running through this plug. Now before I show you what to do, I just need to show you where to place these metal bits into the shower gel at when once the electrics come on. It'd be easier for me to tell you now. I can show what people do when they make mistakes when doing this. What you do not want to do when the electric is on is dump both of those electric bits into that shower gel. If you're in your cell, you will take out the electricity for your cell and probably six cells around you if you do this, which means other prisoners are going to be left without electricity if this goes wrong. So what you do, you put one piece of metal in the shower gel, one piece. Then you tap, lightly tap the other bit onto the top of the shower gel. I'll plug this in now. There you go, it's on. Right now there's, there's electricity running through each part of these staples here. So as you can see, one bit goes in, the other bit, the other piece of metal, gets tapped onto the top of the shower gel with this cotton bud touching the spark that comes off it. So let's get ready for this, there you go. One in, tap the other one on, Tap. There you go. And there's your light. Yeah. That's how you get a light in prison. Now, if you don't have one of these stereo leads, if you haven't got a stereo lead like this, let me just unplug this. What people are known to do is literally tear apart their TV lead. So their actual plug looks like this. The other half of this would be attached to the TV. If you split the plug there, you can reattach it to your TV. 
just put some piece of piece of newspaper in between there to make sure the, the bits don't connect ever tie it back up and your tv will work but if you do it this way as well you can still get a light you can still get a light if you do it this way And there you go. That's how you get a light in prison.